Why are cars so expensive? They do the same thing they did 100 years ago, but the price keeps going up and up and up. I think it's because auto manufacturers keep adding new parts that we don't need just so they can charge us more money. An $18 a month subscription to use the heated seats that are already installed in your car? That is genius. You are engineering gods, BMW. How did you come up with such a good idea? And do we really need lane sensing technology? Sure, it might save a couple hundred lives per year, but I'd rather save a couple hundred bucks buying a car. And don't even get me started on door. The doors come off of this, yeah, right? Yeah, all of them. They just easy. pop off though? Yeah, the doors all come off. But it is totally legal to drive without the doors yeah, off. Yeah, of course. How much less does the car cost if I buy it without any of the doors? Oh, it comes with it, unfortunately. Oh, like you can't. Someone should build a better car. A car that is just the bare minimum. An inexpensive transportation device that doesn't do all the extra. So I did some research and it, it turns out building a car is really hard. I think it might be a smarter idea to tackle this problem from the other direction. But there's one problem. I don't have enough room in my garage for an experiment of this scale. So I rented a parking lot, hired an elite team of scientists, and bought two cars. Have you ever done any drag races in this car? Yeah, you put it in gear and floor it, no. <laughs> How many parts can we take off the car before it stops working? You can, you can remove a lot of parts. With confidence I had made the right decision and thousands of dollars in the hole, it was time for my team of scientists to start building the car of the future. Where's Michael? How did you get in there? Oh, have you been in there since last night? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot. And by car of the future, I mean cars of the future. But no, seriously, I'm still traumatized from Mr. Beast's sport game, so I got two cars just in case something happens to one of them. We didn't have to hit each other. We gotta strategize. I don't really know what kind of strategy yet. What's our team name? Um, what's cool and like uh, car related? What's the heaviest thing in a car? The, the engine. Gas. The engine. Oh, the gas? Uh, hot rods. Any, oh, any the sunroof. We definitely don't need the roof. The, the ghost of Vin Diesel. <laughs> of Paul Walker. Oh, right, right, right. The ghost of Paul Rudd. Vinny and the Diesels. Yeah, I like that. Vinny and it's kind of bad ass. Are you guys strategizing? You, uh, no. Coming up with a team name. You guys ready? Oh my what? god. Oh my god. And you're trying to, you're like doing a boxing match? You can't even break a car window? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's do another take. Wait, 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 there's, only, there's only a couple rules. Don't break the front windshield and leave at least one side mirror. Google told me that's what's legally required to drive. But other than that, the scientist's goal is to remove as many parts as possible. We already know doors serve no purpose. It's not like you're gonna fall out if you're wearing a seatbelt. And does anyone actually know what a yes! hood is for? All right, get rid of that. Does it protect the engine? Does it increase aerodynamics? Or is it just an excuse for them to charge more money? Me and Alan go way back the early tungsten cube video days we've uh hung up three times in real life ever but through his youtube channel i know him very well he doesn't know shit about me though wait, wait, wait. oh yeah you got it Body muscle! Yeah! you know where they put their socket wrench I'm gonna go buy Sun Tzu Art of War to take the resources. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's halfway removed. Look at that. There we go. Dude, we oh, hit money. Oh. We hit money. Look at this. Oh, a huge loss. It slowly dawned upon me that I had not rented the parking lot long enough because I spent all the money on the cars and brand new power tools. And now we're running out of time. I'm not trying to say we used our time efficiently. I'm just trying to come up with a good transition to talk about the sponsor of today's video. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, a weekly meal delivery service that Caretaker and I have been subscribed to for two years now. Today's meal we're going to cook is Firehouse Cheeseburgers. All 10 ingredients for this meal are organized and pre-portioned. If you don't like beef, replace it with ground turkey. And if you don't like turkey, get rid of it and replace it with cat meat. They even have cat meat. We were eating out way too much, and that's like, it's unhealthy, it's expensive. And I do like cooking, it's just very, I don't wanna say intimidating, but it's a lot of work. HelloFresh is a huge convenience, and it has stopped us from eating out, because once the food shows up to the house, we have to cook it. The prep time for this meal is 10 minutes, and cook time is 35 minutes, but most of that is the french fries just sitting in the oven. Every meal they offer is great. We've tried a ton of different recipes, and learned about all sorts of different food that I never would have tried to cook on my own. Go to HelloFresh.com and use William Osmond 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three surprise extras. Like one time they sent me a mini cheesecake. If, if you guys have more of those, I would like, I would like more.
My name's Chef. I have literally taken nothing off this car and I can't even find the wrench to do it. 14, 14, where's the 14? It's probably a 15 and someone probably has it. Damn it. Sun Tzu out of work. Is it a 15? No, it's not. It's a 13? Take the resources. Where's the medium sized wrench? Alan, Alan stole it. All Alan stole it from our kit. Alan, you can't steal the wrenches from our kit. To get revenge on Alan, I stole his wrench and peed in his Gatorade. Okay, we're back in business. Uh, no. Holy crap! There's 65 cents in here! And some Moncala beads! What's our goal? What are we pulling off? Uh, Is it everything? Everything we can, right? Oh, doors. Doors? Okay. Doors. I removed something. <laughs> uh, oh. I am really strong! <laughs> Alan's ripping off the red part. Uh, he wants to remove the metal because it's real heavy. And I think it's a good move. Right now he's using a sawing device. Do we need this? Definitely not. We don't need this. We don't need that. Why is this still there? Heave. Oh, wait. Whoa. Uh. Hey! That, that <laughs> pretty, Wait, do uh, license plate? Oh, we need the license plate. We're going to be driving these cars on city streets, so it's extremely important we don't accidentally remove a critical part. We don't want to have a run-in with the police. Michael wouldn't last 30 seconds in juvie. We don't want to be driving illegally. Do we need that? <laughs> okay. Just kind of wedge it in there. <laughs> Jake and Michael were struggling to remove the door. Oh yeah, that's not come on. But I have a genius solution that I know is going to impress them. I'm not sure that was the most efficient use of time. And, oh, and uh, it, it went worse than I thought. Yeah. Right now, the plan is to turn this into a pickup truck. We've already gotten rid of half of the roof, and I think if we just make a clear cut down the middle here, we'll be able to put lumber in the back seat of this. All right, we got ourselves a pickup truck. Those aren't the brake wires. Oh, you know, it might be. <laughs> Oh, no, we're good. I think those are the brake light lines right there. Oh, we can try it. Well, I uh, may have cut through the brake light, so now I'm going to figure out how to turn them back on. The red car is no longer street legal now that the brake lights are broken. However, the silver car is quickly transforming into the car of the future. Until Jake made a horrifying discovery. We had accidentally cut through the side airbags and are afraid they might explode. There's an airbag right here and we're all very scared of it. I don't think it'll go off, but I also am not 100% certain with that claim. Side airbags are not mandated in the United States, which means these are just an extra cost being passed off on the consumer to inflate profits. I don't think it's gonna go off. Yeah. Well, there's no power to it. Doing my best with the hacksaw. Luckily, we were able to safely remove it using a hammer. Oh, nice. Yes! Yes! But, uh, look, at this is what happens when you take your time and go slow. God, I'm so glad I'm not you guys right uh, now. Well, we can go pick up lunch. Yeah, you you're gonna, you're gonna get us something too, right? They're gonna get us something, right? Alan's already spent 45 minutes failing to fix the brake light. So this seems like a perfect opportunity to test our new whip. This shot actually looks perfectly normal, but when I <laughs> and the whole car is gone. Well, it seems to bring the problem, officer. I love having a nice cold air and then cranking the heater, like windows down. Like, oh yeah. Off, on top. Woo! Only a few minutes into the drive, we were already catching the attention of other drivers on the road. I'm not trying to turn fast because Jason fall out the back. Unfortunately, not every driver on the road was excited to see the future. Oh, oh, film, film. I'm talking about the police. We're, we're f***ed. <laughs> we're f***ed, right? Is he following us? How are we going to get ourselves out of this mess? Look how mad that guy looks. Even our camera crew in the chase car was freaking out, not knowing what to do if we get pulled over, until we realized he was pulling someone else over. What? Yeah! What? Yeah, the police did he not care at all. 
Protect and serve, baby. <laughs> This means our prototype is officially street legal. Now all we have to do is convince someone in the auto industry to endorse our design. And lucky for us, not far from here lives an automotive legend. Someone who understands the importance of innovation. Someone who has amassed a fortune selling cars. Someone who agreed to give us 15 minutes of his time to try and make a deal. Where do we pull in? <laughs> I still don't know how we managed to make this happen, but I haven't been this nervous to talk to somebody since my dad got out of prison. So how much can we sell this bad boy for? Is it worth anything? No. It'll need a little work, but like what? You tell me. You need the roof, he needs the door, like the trunk, he needs a hood, he needs a fender. So no deal? 300 bucks? Even if you pay me a thousand dollars, you take it. Yeah, I guess we should leave now. <laughs> we have done it. We have achieved our goal. By reducing the number of parts on the car, we were able to significantly reduce its price. Um, let's go buy food. It's a nice day. Want a hamburger? I would, oh, I'd kill for a hamburger. Let's pull over. Let's go. Let's go in and out. Let's get hamburgers for everybody. Yeah. Drive through? Oh yeah. Oh my god. The only thing more American than buying an overpriced car is a good old fashioned cheeseburger. Hi. Hello. Can we get uh like just ten cheeseburgers? Like ten, I maybe ten. twelve. Like twelve a, cheeseburgers? She was professional. She was professional. She I would have lost my like there's she, something wrong with your car. Yeah, I conveniently though. forgot my oh. credit card. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Are you? What? What? Yeah, please. Yeah. Um, like a handful. Yeah, please. Don't let that fall out onto the freeway, Will. Wind in my hair. Glass in my ass crack. Hey, what the, what happened? What happened? What, what are you happened? doing? Oh God. Oh. Y'all good? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what, what happened to your car? That wasn't bad at all. We were trying to fix the brake lights, right? But we couldn't find all the wires. So we had to cut into the car to find the wires. And we, we actually hit the fuel line. And so we moved the fuel tank to the front. And so then we had to figure out where the brake line was. So we cut a little bit more, and then we actually cut the car in half. We can't drive the car. We won't drive like that. It's a front wheel drive. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like a, like a school bus came and just it in half. <laughs> Do the turn signals work? Test the turn signals! And <laughs> <laughs> it works! This is not a safe car! I wanna try it, car. it really tears ass. I can feel the glass on my butt. Whoa! Gasoline spraying up. That's the wiper fluid. That's yeah, yeah, that was wiper fluid, wiper Michael. Fluid smell like gasoline. <laughs> Look at the windshields covered in gas. Hey, come on! Hey. You You're gonna dent our, our car. car! This is brand new. I just bought this car yesterday. Hey. Our judge, Dax Flame, is going to pick a winner. I, none of us know who it is yet. The red car. Oh no! Oh, this is bullshit. That? Is that the whole video? Is that the whole video? <laughs> Bad news, everyone.
my grandma died. But the good news is she left me this industrial embroidery machine that I now keep in my garage so I can make more clothes for Cat Warehouse. She's actually not dead. <laughs> She's not gonna find that funny. We got all sorts of stuff. Where's the swim trunks? Where do we put the swim trunks? Swim trunks. Look at he's drowning. How cute. This hat that we bought with someone else's art on it that then we embroidered our own art onto. The sequel to I'm in Debt. I got fired. And we've restocked items that we ran out of long ago. Like everyone's favorite professional shirt. Crabs smoking crack. And there's one special item that I'm not allowed to show you because YouTube will ban me. Probably. I don't actually know. It's a hat with a picture of my cat's on it. I'm gonna make another one right now. I think I'm only gonna make like a handful of these because uh, it's really bad. <laughs> No, it ripped again. Drink keeps breaking. God, why I I don't why is this so hard? I have no idea how to use this machine. 